Morning guys. It's 17th of December 2020 and I've been feeling really overwhelmed this week. I'm not going to lie. When we went to the supermarket yesterday, it, it's just it's just felt like every time we've planned something, every time we've gone to do something, every time that, you know, we've wanted to do something, entry time, things were looking up, we just feel like we keep getting slapped or kicked in the guts. And there's only so much someone can take of that before it gets to the point where it's so overwhelming you just can't, you just can't deal with it anymore. We went to the supermarket yesterday and before I even got in there, a guy ran past me so quickly in the car park, he nearly pushed me into the car park again, into the road in the car park. Um, I didn't have a trolley so he saw me walking with my stick and chose to run past me so quickly he nearly knocked me over and I was quite wobbly for a second. Um, I did ta end up taking a step back and having to get my balance. Um, but I didn't start things well. And he may have seen me coming and thought, oh yeah, I'll just race past, you know, because obviously she's struggling or whatever. But what they don't do is look back to see what they're, what, you know, the result of them racing past people like me does. And the result was it took me a good couple of minutes to get my balance back and my partner had, and Tani had to come running back with the trolley for me to grab because I was going to go. <sighs> And that was even before we got in there. By the time we got in there, um, I got pushed out of the way by three old people. Now, I, I don't walk very steadily at all. I don't. You've seen me move about my kitchen. That's a couple of shuffles here and there. It's, it's not walking. And when I'm walking, I'm very unsteady on my feet. Tanny tends to run around the place um, to go and grab the things that we need or want or what we're there for on purpose so that I don't have to walk too far because I just can't do it. Which is not great. <laughs> and I was already struggling before we got in there. Yeah, I just felt rushed. I felt like I couldn't take my time and I had people knocking into me left, right and centre. I went to go down an aisle and not only did someone overtake me, whoosh, this side, but they undercut me on this side of me as well so that I couldn't turn left to go into the aisle and I literally broke at that moment because at that point I had been shoved into a, a set of shelves by an old man and his wife um, and they were elderly people um, and for me it was the last straw and I just didn't want to be there anymore and as much as we'd had a win because I found a salmon for nine pounds, a whole one, Dee -dee. Um, which means that I can cure some salmon soon, which will be great. I've put it in the freezer because I didn't know how I was going to be for the next couple of days. So I thought better to put it in the freezer and it not go yucky, um, keep its freshness and then we'll bring it out the day before I'm going to use it. That's probably the best idea. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, 
We did get our turkey yesterday. We did get our turkey yesterday. And we got the cat litter, so the cat's all good for bum grit for a while. <laughs> two months. Two months worth? Or is it a month's worth? Yeah, it's two. It's, it's a month's worth that we got her. So, <coughs> she's all good for that for a little bit. But yeah, I've been feeling very overwhelmed and the fact that people are being as ignorant and thoughtless as they are being when we're in the supermarkets is not helping. Um, I hate shopping at the best of times. I'm, as part of the PTSD, I have agoraphobia. And so being outside for me is a big deal and it's scary and hard. And this is why I'm wanting my garden set up so that I have somewhere to go that's outside and that I can start going further outside and do more things. Here it's not practical because we don't have a back fence, we have bars which doesn't help my mental state of mind <laughs> or perception of where we live. Um, and yeah, I, I, I kind of, I, I ended up getting so upset that um, I didn't stop crying for over an hour. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> Tani had to get me out of the shop. He had to go to another shop. He stayed on the phone with me the whole time he was in the shop. Um, trying to get bits and pieces for the house for like Christmas. There's no way we're going to be able to go to Leeds this week. Quite apart from which my mental health probably couldn't cope with it. Um, but also... We just don't have the money for it. It's just not going to happen. We just don't have the money for it. Um, once the bills came out of my account yesterday, pretty much wiped us out. Um, he's got money for the main bills. But yeah, it's pretty much wiped us out. So, um, which is not great. <laughs> So we're going to try and make the best of what we've got and do it here. Um, yeah, we're going to do it here. So, yeah. Um, not quite sure how that's going to happen yet. But yeah, like I said, over the last month, so much stuff has happened and I haven't been able to really process any of it. It's also a couple of days until my youngest son's birthday and I don't even know where he is. So he's going to be 24 and I haven't seen him since 2009. I have spoken to him a couple of times but um, I haven't spoken to him in since 2017 2016 2016 I think it was 2016 2016 2017 I can't remember anyway but it was then and yeah, I only got to talk to him because he was inside, as in jail. So, um, yeah, I didn't go to go and visit him. I just got to speak to him on the phone. Um, and that was it. So, yeah. And then I didn't hear from him from the time that he left. So I, <clears throat> I 
Yeah. He's the kind of kid that holds on to a grudge until it, it, it tears him up forever. And he will bring up stuff that happened when he was one or two years old. Um, and he was doing that when he was 13. So, you know, as much as I love him, I can't... He's he's going to have to come to me. I I'm, I'm can't put myself through that and I shouldn't have to put myself through that. He's an adult. He is... He has his own perception on things that happened. Um, he still has his own perception on what things have, that have happened. Um, even though I've shown him evidence to the contrary. So, you know... You can't fight with someone. You can't talk to someone. You can't discuss with someone who is not willing to face facts. Um, <clears throat> and it's... Uh, and that goes for anyone. And it's really hard when it's your kids because... And saying no to your kids is really important. You have to look after you. And if you don't look after you, then your kids don't learn respect. Um... I have a friend who's having difficulty with her child at the moment. Both her kids are now ganging up on her because she is um, she's medically shielding. She has major um, immunity issues, and um, one of her daughters refuses to wear a mask and yet goes out left, right, and centre all over the place, and is expecting to come to her mother's house for Christmas with her children. And she's gone, no, you're not coming. I'm shielding. You're not coming here. Sorry, it's not happening. Um, so she's been made to feel like a complete arsehole, and quite frankly, um, and then her other daughter has started to, you know, gang up on her as well. And frankly, I mean, like, I'm medically, I am shielding as well. I have been out a couple of times. Um, I do go out to the supermarket occasionally, but we go when it's really, really early, so there's less likely for people to be there. Unfortunately, those people who are there, as always, are still assholes. So, you know, if if you see someone who's struggling walking around the supermarkets, give them a wide berth, but don't bloody rush past them so quickly that they could lose their balance from the shock of it, okay? Let alone the fact that you bang into them or whatever and at least acknowledge when you do something that's kind of nice and I know that I'm rambling a bit here but you know yeah like I said a lot has happened over this last month I've lost my brother we've lost the house that we hoped that we were gonna get that was a huge kick in the guts I'm not gonna lie it's nearly my son's birthday and I'm always a bit wobbly this week anyway because of it. Because at the end of the day, no matter what's been said and done, he's still my son. And I still love him. And I still miss him. And this time of the year is really hard. So, um, <clears throat> I will keep going and keep doing what I do and doing my best to do things. Um, and face up to the good things you got to remember the good things too because we've had good things that happen I mean I found a salmon which means I get to cure some salmon and have some salt cured salmon in the fridge for another couple of months which will be awesome because I nearly finished the trout so and the reason I put it in the freezer was that yesterday I was really not up to doing a video um 
we got a couple of things that we have planned to do on videos and I haven't, I just haven't, and I'm sorry, but I just couldn't face doing it and I haven't felt like doing anything. Tanny bought me a curry for dinner last night because I just, I just didn't want to cook. I didn't want to do anything. I'm not going to lie. It was really good. Anyway, this has been really, really long morning musings and um, I think I need to go now um, so I can face the day. Da -da -da. I'll put my big pixie pants on. And, um, yeah, face the day. So I'm going to do that. We've got this, right? Guys, we've got this. We can do this. It's, um, we can do this. So we just hold it together. And if you need to talk to people, you got to talk to them. I'm telling you, I'm, I am talking to myself here too, by the way. I tend not to talk to people because I don't want to be a burden to them. And I don't want to bother them because they've got their own shit going on. Do you know what I mean? But if we all feel that way, then, then we get all overwhelmed because we don't have anyone to talk to. Isn't it better that we just share it with each other and then we can both help each other and sometimes it just takes an ear to listen and you feel better I love my sister, I love my Purgle because she is always there and even though I'm an idiot <laughs> and I don't always ring her when I need to because she has enough going on and she always tells me off for it so you know, it is what it is. Anywho, it's almost mead day. And I'm looking forward to that. And Tani bought new sparklies. So you'll probably see those in a video at some point. And we are going to get the tree decorated today. So I will see you guys later on. I love you heaps. Be good to yourself. Give this half the time that you need. Talk. If you need to talk, talk. And just be gentle with yourself. And with others. Be thoughtful. Be kind. Treat others as you would like to be treated. And um, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.